All right, guys. Well, welcome. It is February 5th. Yes. And oh my gosh, so much is going on. My name's Casey. I'm going to be your host tonight on this call. Um, we're going to kick it off with uh, some Think and Grow Rich good stuff. And then we're going to dive into what is taking place right now in isogenics. Just sometimes when you think that it can't get better, they really just keep making it better and better and better and putting more into their customers, more into their associates and promotions. So, oh my gosh, just oh, everything, the science, the product, the ampli, it's like, when does it, they never stop. So we're super blessed. So if you're on this call, I imagine that you have an interest in getting products paid for and sharing isogenics and helping other people discover isogenics um, and you have some personal Personal goals yourself. So many of us, uh, you'll often hear a term that isogenics is really a personal development plan um, with a compensation plan attached to it, with incredible products attached to it, with incredible community and support attached to it, but that it really is all, you know, becoming the best version of ourselves. And uh, I don't know, any, any of you guys watched the Super Bowl last night? Uh. Yeah, oh, I said so. I think we have some fans, and I think we have some not so fans of of how it how it rolled out. So my father in law and husband are both from New England, and they were here watching. They're not they're not, not necessarily, you know, they definitely wanted the Patriots to win, but it wasn't a huge upset um, when they didn't. And I just was thinking how emotionally invested, you know, people are in their teams, and um, you know, it's like when we win, we win, or just the feelings, the emotional feeling, kind of behind that. And, you know, gosh, you guys, if we can get emotional, if people can get that emotional about like a football game and a win like that, like we deserve to get like that emotional about our lives and our wins for ourselves, like tying that same emotion. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't follow football at all. Like if I never saw another football game, like I, it would totally be cool. And um, Michael, though, was talking about, I was asking questions when I saw it, um, you know, play out and everything about, and he was like, well, what's funny is the quarterback that, you know, just won the Super Bowl might not even be on the team next year um, for the Eagles because he was a second choice, right? Because their their first quarterback had an injury and he came in, I think he played like four games total, um, three being the playoffs, one in season or something. I don't know. And then with the Super Bowl, right? But you think about that, that underdog and just that taking home this championship, this Super Bowl, and just like being ready though, and just like all the skill set that it takes to to go up to that point, um, you know. And then you think about Tom Brady, right? Um, just extremely seasoned coming in, or you know, who knows what his desire, or his vision is for, um, you know, where he wants to go in his career. You know, maybe this is going to push him to go one more season, uh, to do one more, uh, you know, championship game, to then, you know, break the world record, and and maybe he's going to have another year of just extreme joy in his life and playing. You know, what he does his whole life, just being that professional, being so skilled, and just you know, finding that fulfillment and joy in that and so I was just I really enjoyed that game and then I was thinking like I wonder how Tom Brady is you know feeling right now if he's like you know what I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna go back out there I've done it numerous times before lost some win some I'm gonna go back and win the next one and now I'm gonna have been to more Super Bowls than anybody else you know like is that the mindset of a champion like I'm gonna get back to it or do we think that he you know is just gonna criticize himself or not get out of bed or be all depressed because he like didn't hit this goal or he missed this one win like I I doubt it, right? Like, that's not what what champions are made of. You know, you just keep going. You just keep going. And uh, so that was – I had fun with thinking about all that. I don't know about you guys. But really, you know, in isogenics, kind of relating to our specialized knowledge um, in the Think and Grow Rich – what I love about isogenics, you guys, is that we don't have to be in like the specialized knowledge per se that like so many other fields you have to in order to be successful. Um, it was put in, on, on, in here, it said there are two kinds of knowledge. One is general, the other is specialized. One is general, the other is specialized. And I was like, okay, our general knowledge, we eat it, love it, share it, we use the tools, right? And we do the, the basics, but isogenics handles all of that specialized stuff. The shipping, the handling, the inventory, the processes, all those things. And if you guys have you know, seen the presentations on the difference between what a, a brick and mortar business is, or you know, owning your own business versus what isogenics is, and really just the, the, the 
no overhead or the no kind of responsibility compared to what a traditional organization has. You know, I was really thinking like, I love the fact that they handle that and we do the generalized and, you know, thinking too, like, what, what's more effort? You know, it talked a lot about effort in the book too. And I was like, okay, well, what would be more effort for me to get passive big business residual income? If I want to build residual income, you guys, if you are on here and you have not really grasped like what residual income is, what passive income is, you really deserve to take a look and you really, you need to read a book called the four year career. You really deserve to understand like the power of what passive and residual income is. So you can be really, really excited about it um, to realize that you're paid time and time again off of your initial efforts. And in most businesses, if the doors are closed, you know, or you're closed for the weekend, like you're not making money. And in this business, you literally can be on vacation and make money. I remember seeing that um, when I started Isogenics, the ICE movie, it was an older one. And he said, I believe everybody deserves to make money while on vacation. And I thought that doesn't happen. This thing, these people, like there's no way that you're going to be making money while on vacation. And I can tell you, I've had some of my highest pay weeks of over five figures on vacation, not working. And it's because I have passive and residual income. And so I just really, I want, and I, I knew that before I decided to really make a jump, you know, um, I kind of, I, I, I understood it from that four year career book. So that's just my invitation to everybody is those numbers. You can watch a YouTube of it or something, but that's what I would get my knowledge in, right? That generalized knowledge because Isogenics has done all the specialized stuff. There's a couple parts that I wanted to talk about. Um, in the, in the book, it talked about Henry Ford and they were saying like, he's really not an educated man. Um, and he said he, he had to go to court and attorneys and all that. And it was, he laughed because he said, why would I, why would I bother putting all of that noise in my head, it would cloud out the room for knowing just how to get information, right? So he like had people where he could just get the information from. So he knew that he didn't have to spend his time being all spread out, that he could just focus on a few key things and that people know how to get the information to him, i.e. the isogenics tools, right? Using that structure of all the isogenics that they have. And so I thought that that was a really great story. So this was one of my favorite parts. It said the word educate, Chris will like this if she's on here. The word educate is derived from the Latin word educo, meaning to educe, to draw out, to develop from within. You know, we've heard it said too, um, imagination is more powerful, um, you know, than knowledge. And really thinking about that to develop from within, like, you guys, the systems are duplicatable and that's why we use the systems. But I want everybody to really think about like being your true and authentic self and taking what it is that you like from seeing people who are successful. If something does not make you feel good, um, you know, putting a post out, like, I really want you to start listening to how you feel feel when you're going through just these basic steps because we all have our personal kind of twist to it right the action is the action I'm going to show you guys some stuff on that but like just from within right like the knowing also too when you think about the most important person to educate is not other people on isogenics honestly it is yourself like it is that is the most important to educate because that handles where your belief is right like your belief is going to determine your confidence confidence when you talk to somebody. I think that the best way to get belief is by eating the food, but uh, you're right. Cause you have that emotional experience, but like, that's the person that comes from within. That is really your posture. That is your posture. That is your belief. And so then as you're talking about isogenics, as you're doing the skill sets of network marketing, that is why people show up. And that is why people say yes, is because you have developed it from within. I have developed passive and residual income with within I know it to be like the greatest vehicle like I am and I you know and I knew that when I was talking to people or I would let them know like where I was going or I would say hey like you can really change your life with this if you make the decision to do that I believed that it wasn't like oh you know hope it'll work out like I'm gonna give this thing a shot like because that belief was there and so I really want you know everybody to be kind of asking themselves and then you're gonna get into alignment um one of my favorite things in this too was 
how highly paid people are who know how to work with other people. Like that that's the highest skill set or like how people can be paid the most is because you know how to work with people. I'm sure Randall, you can talk a lot about working with people, running teams. I mean, that's very important to be able to navigate kind of people and just align with people, right? We don't have to convince or, you know, take a posture that, you know, is not true to ourselves, but it's just that alignment. And because it's going to be throughout your organization and everybody does have different goals. Again, you know, systems are duplicatable. People are not. You're, you may be on here and you just want to get your products paid for. Like, that's cool. Like you can be on here to get your products paid for. Um, or you're on here because you're like, you know what, I'm going to be an isogenics millionaire and I don't care how long it takes, what I have to do. I, you know, LaDonna and I were talking the other day about that. She was like, we're doing it. Like I'm going to be a millionaire. Um, that's it. That's her goal. So, you know, that, that effort of them, that's going to be a little bit more maybe. Um, and what, they're doing then if your goal is I'm gonna get my products paid for and like her her belief their belief her and Randall's belief they can be millionaires in isogenics like I, I can hear it when when it's spoken um, but if that's not yours that's okay you know like what Peter Kelly went and talked about so just the basics of product sharing um, and in here it says anything acquired without effort and without cost is generally unappreciated and is often discredited. Perhaps that's why we get so little. And he talks about from the, the free public school systems or you know things that are free, but I really think about that. Anything acquired without effort and without cost is generally unappreciated, often discredited, and perhaps that is why we get so little. You know, we all think, oh, I wish it was faster. I wish it would just come more. I wish it was easier, right? And I think, you know, really the word effort, to me, effort, I look at that at Effort is enjoying the journey. Effort is not getting caught up when things don't go exactly how it is that you want it to go. The effort is being able to stay happy. The effort is being able to keep the belief, the knowing, even if it doesn't seem like that it's happening fast enough or if it's right in front of you. Because let me ask you, what do you think is more effort? To keep going where you are right now, right? And in 10 years, look at your life in 10 years, or the effort that it has taken me or some of these other amazing leaders on here and people that have built just incredible passive streams of income, the effort that we've put towards our isogenics business that then allows us to have the choice, the freedom, the no burden of finances, that be able to go where we want, do what we want when we want. Like what was more effort? What would have been more effort is me working for 40 years as a night shift nurse. That would have been a lot more effort, right? For a lot less... Um, return that I would have had too. So when I really think about with isogenics being all about, you know, personal development and becoming the best version of ourselves, becoming more skilled in certain areas, but just becoming better, you guys, that that's the effort. That's the effort that it's going to take um, more so than anything else. And Stephanie, amen, right? I remember going through that with there. So the person who stops studying merely because he has finished school is forever hopelessly doomed to mediocrity no matter what may be his calling. The way to success is a continuous pursuit of knowledge. How many people go to college, they get out, or they go start work, and they stop learning, they stop striving. It's like, that's it, right? That is mediocrity, like that, and that's fine. If that's what somebody wants and they have no desire for more, like that's it. That's, you know, the first chapter in here about desire though, there's that burning for something more. It's like, I knew when I saw isogenics, you guys, I remember I was in my scrubs one day, and I was going to work and I was looking in the mirror and I was like, man, mm, like this is it, right? Like not a nursing is an amazing career, right? We help people like nurses are awesome. There's n nothing wrong, but I was just, I felt like there was something more like that there could be something more travel. And, you know, here it was, uh, you know, living in this tiny little duplex and space heaters and, you know, going to work, working all night, coming home, being exhausted. It was just like, man. And when I saw a vehicle to be able to do that, it's like, I got so excited about that. I was so excited. It felt so good to know that I could really start making some changes and it's led me into so many other areas of my life too. And I want to ask you too, who are you listening to? Who are you taking advice from? Who are you letting maybe affect you um, throughout this process or this journey? You know, when somebody tells you no, or when somebody says to, you know, stop chasing rainbows, get your head out of the clouds, all those things, like 
what's their life look like, right? Or what path have they chosen? Are they someone that keeps going? Because I, and I'm telling you, when people are on a journey of growth and success and mentoring and just, they're, they encourage, man, it is just so encouraging and uplifting. So that would be too, like, who am I listening to with all of that? And if you have the imagination and you seek a more profitable outlook for your services, the suggestion may be the stimulus for which you have been searching. You guys, imagination. Like, we don't even have to do all the work of specialized skill set and network marketing. If you want to go and you want to get specialized in something and invest $100,000 in products and, you know, open up a company and get a warehouse and stock it and ship it and have employees and all that stuff, like, you know, rock it out. But I want the easiest, most effortless way um, to create passive residual income. And so I can't think of anything better than becoming my best version of putting the best nutrition in my body and being around people who are on a continuous health journey to influence me. Um, and that, that is my compensation plan. Like I really, it's, it's pinched me, it's pinched me good stuff. So I love thinking real rich. I love applying the isogenic goodies to it. I am going to share my screen. Let's see. So you guys can see. Okay. So, all right, you guys see my PowerPoint? Okay, so think and grow rich, all right, here we go. I wanna know where you wanna see yourself again, like in the next three to five to seven years, right? That's what we talked about, kind of in a thing. But again, taking it back, you guys, you have to believe you can do this. It's more powerful than any of the knowledge that you're gonna get. Um, you have to imagine yourself, see yourself doing it even before, because you guys, your belief in these areas, the companies, products, industry, comp plan, and yourself is everything. We've done so many calls on this. I'm not gonna sit and like, you know, harp on this, but really like you have to ask yourself where it is and you have to go to work on making that area better. If you have not, I would encourage everybody, you can get Isogenics Live. Um, you can watch the celebration recording there. It's $50, the recording, because it was the paid event. Um, or if you had it, you guys, that training, the, the skill set, the, the specialized, only generalized knowledge that we have to know, it's, it's such an amazing event that was on there. Um, we have isogenicsbusiness.com, Isogenics Podcast, you guys, your weekly corporate Zooms, the book GoPro, the seven steps, here they all right here, to becoming a professional networker, getting to events. I mean, it's, it, it's just, but you're going to learn in the do. We learn in the do. You know, what the, the quarterbacks, right, who want, they, they learn because they're playing. They don't just go into the Super Bowl championship game and play and, and make it happen, right? It was the workup. And how much sweeter do you think that those wins are, the journey that somebody has to go to get there and everything that they go through? Like if somebody was like, all right, well, cool. Um, everybody gets a Super Bowl thing, you know, just for showing up and not making themselves the best version of themselves that they can be like there would be no joy in that right but it's when it's like hey like this is my goal this is my journey it can get better and better and your confidence builds so much when you're kind of in a mode of, of practicing or you're like you know what I really like building this way or you know what maybe you like building on social media more than you like building um you know belly to belly maybe you're like you know what I I'm not a huge social media person I, I make myself do it you know because I know it's important but I want to do a little bit more belly to belly um local things like whatever it is that you find kind of your niche of feeling good in but you guys these never change the beliefs here don't change, right? And the tools to get on and do it. I mean, there's so many tools in isogenics that you have. So I want to share some stories with you guys about, you know, you can see some glory and not knowing a story, or you can see, um, you know, people that are having success, but it's like, well, how does that, you know, get to that level or what's that even like? And I, I want you to write down the word or ingrain the word and you repetition, repetition and consistency repetition and consistency, 
right? Like it really is that because again, and I think it's because when you get, when you repeat something, you get better at it. And when you get better at it, it feels better. And emotions are really our guiding system and our tools and have us feeling good about something, have our posture to where we're exciting. It's like, Hey, you want to enjoy nice I really got to get this rank advancement to put some food on the table, you know, or it's like, I have something that's going to change your life. Right. So, I mean, that emotion, right. Cause enthusiasm we talked about beats out and anything that you can learn in isogenics, enthusiasm is still number one, always. Um, and so it starts, I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a little story so that you can picture, because I would not have been able to predict this story. Um, I wrote down you know, the type of leaders that I wanted in my organization, that I wanted people to show up and produce with or without me, that I really had something, um, just a community and a culture that was gonna attract amazing people, um, and that people were gonna transform their lives with isogenics because I was inviting people to take a look and it was gonna have a rippling effect, right? I was very clear on that and that was my desire. I desired to be a millionaire, I desired to retire myself, my husband, max out my center, like all of those things, right? So that came first. And then I was just in, in those action steps that, you know, that we just showed. And I got my belief to a 10 in every single area. I got my belief to a 10, especially because I went to company events. So through this picture here that we have, we have this woman right here, Amanda. I want us to notice, right, here's a toilet and there's a computer. It's called Pockets of Your Day, right? You don't have to have this, um, you know, beautiful office uh, and it be perfect, right? It's probably not going to be perfect, especially in the beginning. Um, and she, right, came in and I'll get, I'll backtrack with how I met her. And she shared it with this beautiful girl right here, Stephanie, who shared last week on our call. And um, Stephanie said no to isogenics for a year. Product wise, she finally started, was a product user for a year, right? Was a closet user, wasn't telling anybody. And then this little lady come in here, right? That saw her kind of using it, wanted basically having to pull it out of her, what it was that she was doing, um, came in. And this is her beautiful sister right here, Melanie. And Melina and Glenn, congrats, you guys. Oh, it's so exciting, your new family. She was like literally texting, like pushing out a baby, I think. Um, right? She sees what this vision is for her family. Stephanie saw what this was for her family. Amanda came in. She told me no for a year. Right. So think about that. No matter where you are right now, people might be telling, you no. LaDonna and I were talking um, the other day and she said, oh, my gosh, uh, my enrollment. I talked to back back in last April. You guys, it's about the, the germination. Right. It's about just that cultivation period. And so Amanda told me no for a year. And then she got started. And at this time, she did not have a baby. She was not pregnant. And, you know, it's just some desire faded for her. She didn't know really why she was doing it or um, it just, it, she just didn't feel like really putting that much energy into her business. Um, and she did not for a while, but she had for a little while and that energy that she put in it for a little while, right, had some amazing people that were in her organization already. Um, and so that was exciting for her, right? And then that was still being able to build again, leverage and whatnot. And then this beautiful little girl back here was born right or was on the way and she decided to restart her business and she got herself out of a cubicle here we have the beautiful stephanie you know doesn't have to go back to work is at home with his little tyke melina and glenn melina's you know been able to go part-time i don't know what they're going to be doing now with three kids and we have the beautiful melanie that's making such a amazing income from that and amanda also right shared with jordan um and courtney jordan let the product sit in his closet for 30 days right we've all seen Jordan on like um, you know 21 day grind Jordan let the product sit for 30 days in his closet um, had great 30 day transformation like was awesome but for some reason like just didn't stay consistent with it um, as much as he should have but in a year then he came he went to an event and he got started 
you guys, like that's how it started. And then you think about, you know, the people that have been coming in from these amazing people right here that had, had caught the vision, right? Caught the vision. And I couldn't have described how all this was going to happen, right? It led me to meeting these three ladies. Lindsay was what was Amanda's first person that came in to build this business, right? I mean, she was like the first one that like she came in and she wanted it all. She's been able to, you know, quit her job at Costco and Daniel's got a new job. Job, uh, different from um, being police, you know, and she introduced Kelly and then Chris comes in, you know, best friend of mine now. So you can't, you don't know how it's going to happen or who it's going to be. And Amanda was a referral to me from this man who told me no for years. He was not going to build this business. You guys, Gerald is now a multiple six figure earner because of that team. Like you, you never know how it's going to happen. So, you know, going through this whole process and why I really showed you guys this is to really just, just get clear on that desire that we talked about. What do you want your team to look like? Like these people have become some of my very best friends, right? My husband used to work for, you know, Randall and now LaDonna. And it, it, I mean, it's like, you just don't know how it's going to happen. And I think Randall used to tell Mike that I was in like a pyramid scheme or something, possibly. I don't know, something like that, right? So you, you don't know. Just believe. And you guys, be in that action. Follow the tools. Follow the systems. And you are going to be able to change people's life. I'm telling you what it's like to know that those moms have choice to have choice because I decided to not give up on Gerald, right? I'm not saying you got to pull people. I certainly didn't pull them. I was just always telling them that I wasn't going to leave them high and dry. Um, so you don't have to, you can't want this for people more than they want it for themselves. But I believed when I told Gerald, don't you lose your spot. Don't you stop. I'm going to be a millionaire in this company. I believe that. And that's what I would tell people. When I talked to Stephanie the first time she called, I believed that she could not go back to teaching if she wanted to start a family. I believe that. And I said, absolutely. If you want to work for it, if you want to make yourself the best version of yourself, if you want to create that desire, have faith, you know, make your plan for it. And again, you know, the action step is there, but have the, have the plan, right? Around the skill set. Like that can all easily get better. That mind Mindset seems to be sometimes the uh, most interesting one that we have. And you guys, so we're going to talk a lot about some promotions here in a second. But all right, let's see. Okay. Well, that was, that was great storytelling, wasn't it? <laughs> Brings back some emotions. And that's just one little incident, you guys. It was one little pocket of a story. How many people said no? Like every single person in there said no, right? How many people were really gung ho about a business getting started? Not many, but it was the persistence and the belief of from one person and a little bit more gained and a little bit more gained and a little bit more gained that has created that ripple effect. Um, all right, so I wanna ask everybody this. I want everybody to screenshot this or tell yourself this why you're going through this and your belief is growing and your skill set's growing. On the 1357 formula, okay, one year of consistent work to become competent and profitable. You'll cover your expenses, your products, and you're getting to some events, right? Like that, that can take place for you with consistent, really treating it like, you know, doing it in your part-time spare time, like a business, not just throwing up a Facebook post, you know, hoping it works or, you know, not working on our mindset and doing the personal development. Three years of consistent part-time effort in order to be able to go full-time, right? Five years of consistent full-time work to be a six-figure earner and above and seven years of consistent effort to become an expert. But you guys, again, what's the effort? What, what's my life going to look like in 10 years? Like, does, is this more doable to like learn this thing of eating some food, loving some food, sharing it and gaining a belief and a vision and where I want to see my organization, my team and letting that trickle through like absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, all right. So I want everybody to know what's going on this week. That's a powerhouse pack week, powerhouse pack week. Oh my goodness. So tomorrow night, we are going to be doing 30 minutes of a corporate Zoom um, and business training with Donovan. 
So um, that's going to be really good. He's got some stuff set up. And then we're going to do a little bit more details of the text to shortcut, um, give some examples of the text to shortcut. So that's something that, um, that you would want to not invite your, um, like, prospects to, right? People taking a look. This is an actual business training um, that we would get on. This isn't something that I would invite somebody like who's taking a look or anything like that. All right. So say that. Th these are in the, um, in the opportunity pages. So this is going to be taking place. We just got where Gerald can share his tennis story. So that's exciting. We'll be adding him. Um, but this is going to be our first live Zoom Thursday night into the actual health and action group. So um, it's not going to be like, um, you, we've done the virtual parties, which are great. Not, not saying we're stopping those by any means, but you can actually Zoom something live into a Facebook group to then where it becomes a Facebook live. So we're gonna have the people that are speaking that we're sharing their stories, kind of like how we were doing on a video or with a photo and thing. We're gonna be doing that live and health in action. So that's something that you definitely wanna tag people on. Um, we'll go live just a little bit early so that it could be there, so that if anybody's like looking for it, you can start tagging underneath it. Um, and so that's something that definitely invite anybody that you've added into the product page, or if you're going to promote this on your page as a way to get, invite people to, you know, want to take a look or learn a little bit more and hear from these people who've had these incredible health transformations, um, then you would just add them to the health and action page and let them know that it's going to be live on that page. And in the meantime, they can take a look and check everything out. So something that we're going to invite people to take a look at after the health and action um, page or after the event is we're going to tell them to um, hashtag HIA my story. So those are really great. You guys, if you guys haven't seen those or ever used those for people, I do use them. Um, I think that they're, you know, facts tell stories sell. It's always, always a thing. So go in there though. We want to have the more the merrier and the more that kind of like drip in, go in there and share. You want to keep it kind of short, um, you know, two, three. Um, I certainly wouldn't have it like any more than four minutes. Um, and just really, you know, the emotional things, we just have to be compliant. Don't make any medical claims, um, you know, as far as, uh, treating, preventing, curing. I know these products are amazing and just miracles happen in our bodies, but we just want to be compliant for sure. Um, helping our people be compliant. We are giving away, oh, that's supposed to be $150. Um, we are giving away $150 of the person who does the video. It is going to be a drawing of products. So that is going to be a giveaway for anybody who wants to do that. So encourage your team. This is a great way to get people out of their comfort zone and, and sharing their story. It can be a live video recording or it can be a recorded one and then post it um, for anybody who's really scared um, to go live. And back to storytelling, since we're telling stories, right? These two right here, um, Scott and Tammy, so Scott saw my videos a few years ago with Lindsay, right? They all went to school, Amanda, Lindsay, Jordan. Um, there was a, a, a hub of them going to school together. Um, and he saw my videos and he was like, if that nurse is still around in like three years, maybe I'll take a look at it, right? Probably didn't say it like that. So I'm like, what are these crazies doing? What's this Lindsay doing? What are these crazy people doing? And he watched the videos, right? Because they're both nurses too. And they just did like 12 enrollments. Um, they just did the whole January jolt thing. So you think about that from three years ago from a video now to January jolt, like winter is like, that's, that's amazing. All from, you know, doing a, a video with Lindsay after connecting, connect. It's just really, you can't, you can't make these stories up. So Alvi's going to be on. Alvi is um, the team Isogenics ambassador. So really going to be great for some athletes and stuff too. He's really going to talk a lot on that. Um, energy, performance, Stephanie, who's able to stay home, home with her precious little son. She's going to share um, just a little bit on the wealth creation. Um, we don't go too much into that, into our live virtual parties. It just kind of for a what if kind of painting. So it really will be product focused with just a little bit of that or getting your products paid for. Um, so that's something that we all want to do. All right. So Isogenics is stepping it up. So there is a ton of information. I'll make sure that like it all goes in the group. I honestly can't explain it any better than how it is actually like typed out and written, you know, by Isogenics. 
So this is something um, that they are doing to um, incentivize people reaching out, doing enrollments. Um, you know, they have the people who are um, available to do their re-enrollments um, from their old spot, kind of the welcome back customers um, through March 4th. So that's exciting. Um, and then they're also going to be doing the five to seven, $200 in cash, the traveling bonus, the 500, the 10 new customers, a thousand. Um, so, you know, really thinking about, and it's because Isogenics knows the power of events, right? And in the specialized knowledge, it talks about events are the number one way to build your belief, get the knowledge, get the idea of the culture, to educate yourself, right? To, from within, it's, it's the best way to get it from it within. So really a lot of the promotions are all around, um, you know, just events really. Um, so that's exciting, so exciting for that. So you guys go on there. Uh, if there's questions that come in, I'll tag them. I'm gonna put this link, this link is here. It'll take me away from it um, just cause I'm in my PowerPoint share. Um, but it has a little like um, a, a, a picture, a grid. So I didn't put it out in the share, but pull that up. All right, so in addition to all of that, if you are in my downline, and I imagine if you're on this call somewhere you are, um, if you're unsure, you can always shoot me your member ID number and I'll go with it. But this is something that me and some other incredible leaders like Gerald and Katie um, are coming together to really be able to offer um, this to you guys. So if you rank advanced to director between now um, and May 6th, then you'll receive $150 towards your hotel. So this is also around the event. So in addition to Isogenics doing all of that, we will do uh, $150 towards your hotel. Um, if you rank advance to executive between now and um, August 5th, then you'll receive $300 towards your hotel. Um, so again, no matter what Isogenics is doing, that's what we're doing. So if you are currently recognized as a customer, associate, consultant, or manager, you are up for a total of 450. Okay, so you can, cause you can do both of these. You can play in the executive one and you can get the director one and we pay it on site like to the hotel. If you are currently recognized as a director, um, then you can hit the executive one and get the $300 towards your hotel. Um, again, so on these, we're not looking at, you know, who was consulted before, who not. It's just the rank that's mattering. So if you were one of those ranks and you get to the next rank, that's what it is. Um, and again, that one's paid on site too. Now for our people who have already hit executive and they want to run again and they want to keep growing and building, um, we didn't want to leave anybody out. So if you create six new consultants, um, from February 5th to the 6th, you also get 150 towards your hotel, create 10 new consultants. You will get an additional, um, $300 towards your hotel. You are eligible for both. You can do both. If you're already executive, you can, um, hit both again and, um, previous consultants or ones that fell off and dropped off, those do not count. So it's just like when Isogenics did the crystal reset, um, we're doing that again. So we're doing that crystal reset kind of um, again to really um, just, uh, you know, just reward people um, for that for that work. And, you know, we know executive is definitely the goal. Go in for that goal for sure. Um, let executive be the goal. If you believe it and you know that you can hit executive and you want to put in the the mindset, the belief, the feeling, that for all that good stuff, the imagination with executive, let that be it. Um, and, but, you know, we also do realize just the value I mean, getting to director, that's also just uh, such a great, um, such a great rank and everybody should be so proud and we want to um, re really reward that too. So again, those are, are paid on site. February frenzy. There's a frenzy near you. You guys, I don't care if they say sold out, like call, find out who's hosting or whatever. Still bring your guests, still go. Like that would be my recommendation. Um, <laughs> I have never seen Isogenics like turn away. I know that ours is sold out, um, you know, to in Fayetteville, but I've still been um, bringing, you know, taking, getting a list together of people that are coming, um, not registered. Um, for the Fayetteville one, we are doing a celebration tickets giveaway. If you bring the most um, guests, then you receive a celebration ticket. And if you bring the most personally enrolled associates um, for the training, you also get a celebration ticket. Um, so any, you know, healthy little contest here for our Fayetteville frenzy. So um, that's exciting. And again, it doesn't matter if it says sold out. It's still message me, we make it happen. Um, so Isogenics also stepped it up again um, and did this uh, two-star training again. You guys, there's a lot 
going on, right? And we all, there's busy lives, uh, kids, work, family, relationships, spouses, right? There, there's, there's a lot going on, things that you're passionate about, self-love, care, all of these things. You don't have to, whatever it is that you decide you want to shoot for and make your goal, not just because somebody else is saying that's their goal or what it is that they're going to do, but like you, this is really something that you don't, don't play yourself small though. You know, most people, uh, you know, don't aim too high and miss, they aim too low and hit it. So don't, don't shorten yourself and your brilliance and your amazingness and you know how, I mean, it it can go the leverage the overnight can be very, very fast, especially when we start working on ourselves and our own belief, but you know, plug into what it is. that's really specific for you and what your goals are and what you want to hit. Um, I mean, it's, it's with isogenics, it's really, it's unlimited. So, um, Jordan and Courtney are at, um, the two star, um, event right now the executive one. And, um, that's super exciting that they qualified for that. And so they're going to come on next Monday. Um, and they're going to really talk about kind of why, like, why should you get to it? Um, you know, what's up with that. And also we're going to talk about the whole team doing, um, if you guys have seen uh, some people, um, on here and, uh, doing the 21 day grind, I know Morgan, Mariana, just that 21 day grind. Um, I'm going to let him talk a little bit about that. Cause a lot of people are asking like, what What's this 21 day grind and I think it's just a really great way for people who are wanting to be really um, product oriented and take their health to the next level and goals to the next level um, to really achieve um, just their their product success so we can talk about kind of what's behind that and really what happened at step up to two star and why you want to qualify for this next one in July so you can check your email um, there is going to be um, on February 15th through June 3rd you'll see here where at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys, this is the, this is the specialized knowledge that we have to do if we have some of these goals of enrolling people, of helping our team enroll people, of how to coach and mentor people, right? We have to be on these calls. If we want our leaders to be at events, we have to be at events. If we want, you know, our people not to not get tickets or not sold out, guess what? We have, we get not only our tickets, maybe even some extra tickets, right? Like to events. Do you do you do you have you have cut that bad boy down in half right you're like well heck yeah i'm gonna cut it down in half i'm about to do those all those enrollments this month um get all that and take it to executive but you guys, when you plan early for events, it's like half the cost, if not more, when you talk about flights and um, hotel, I mean, everything, right? Getting on block, all of that. So, I mean, I constantly, like my schedule, because I know that events are the highest paid skill set in network marketing, I look at the corporate events and I fill my schedule out first and then I plan everything else around corporate events. And I did that from the beginning before I was making any money, right? Putting it on a credit card. Like I did that before I was ever, um, like, you know, being successful at that. I often hear, well, I'll do it when I have the success or I'll do that more when I'm more successful, but it's, it's unfortunately, you know, it's, it's opposite. Um, so well, I'll practice more after I win the Super Bowl um, title. Yeah, I don't think so. Right. Doesn't happen like that. So it's the reverse the, in the, in the trenches. So, um, all right, just a reminder about that. And I'm going to, this is going to be in the group. So you can tag your people in this. I know Morgan, I think she also did a live in there. Um, and so this is something that you can tag everybody in. Cause again, we really want those stories up. So really, you know, and if this is out of your comfort zone, this is part of your growth. It'll make you feel so good too, that you did it, that like you got out of your comfort zone and you grew a little bit, or maybe you were a little bit nervous, but you did it anyway. Um, so definitely this is something to be excited about and um again you guys I just have really just being you know in isogenics now for however long um what August 2012 August 2012 that was a good a, a good decision a good decision um there have been a lot of ups and downs there's been um you know times where there's just been so much joy and excitement there's been times where there's been so much overwhelmment where there's been tears um felt just completely deflated um you know and even in 
there was really only one time though that I ever thought that maybe I couldn't do it. Like to the point where I was like, Oh my gosh, like I, I cannot do that. I cannot do this. I'm going to quit like that quit. It came for a second that I was going to quit and it went right out. And so I just want to ask you like, don't, don't, don't let that be that auto suggestion for you. Even in the time of, of going through frustrations or feeling like this and it's being grateful for what we currently have in our lives. Like turn your focus to that. If you're feeling like you're in a lull, if you're feeling like it's not going fast enough, if it's feeling uh, anything other than really um, excitement for your growth or joy or a learning experience. Okay, not gonna do that again. Oh, yep, nope, don't, okay, that was not, that was not good. I am not gonna um, prospect like that again. I am not gonna sit in the bathroom of women's stalls and like stalk them and hand out um, business cards. Yes, I did do that. Um, I'm not going to like, you know, pounce on people that are coming to my door knocking um, for trick or treat with their kids about my isogenics business and having a thing out. Yes, I did that too. Um, so, you know, but having the, the joy and knowing that I'm getting better, that I'm doing it, that I'm doing it. And yes, Lindsay, honoring your journey, not being in that comparison mode, you guys, I want to leave you with that. Get clear. What do you want to shoot for? What maybe you want to shoot for manager. I don't know. Like, you know, I knew I wanted to shoot for executive. Like that was it. And I was willing to do what it had to do um, to do it and making myself again, you know, the best version that we can be at that time of again, the belief really. I mean, that's, that's what we got to go to work the most on. It seems like the skill sets, the skill set, it's how you feel, you know, within that skill set and your beliefs. So I just really encourage everybody to find the joy in the journey because that's what makes it so sweet anyways, right? Just like in the, the book where it talked about, you know, without the effort or without the thing, it's like, do you really enjoy it anyways? Because I can promise you, you're going to hit, you know, Isogenics Millionaire and it's great, you know, okay, cool. Isogenics Millionaire. But it's everything that you learned along the way that makes it even sweeter that you went through or like that you could enjoy it. But then it's, it's going to be another goal, you guys. It's going to be another thing. No matter where you get, we are humans. We are naturally made to expand and to not, you know, to be completely grateful for everything that we have, but to not be satisfied with less than that we can be, right? With, and so it's like, you're still always going to be expanding no matter what goal you hit, where you are, how it is. And if you can find joy in the journey, you are going to attract so many people you are going to attract people who want it who want what you have like you will attract those people um and so that's just what i'm, I'm gonna leave you guys with does anybody want to celebrate anybody i know that that was a a lot tonight with all the all right hold on let me stop this i've got some people that i was gonna write down so that i wrote down that just have been popping up hold on let me find this where is my stop screen so i can unmute all right. I know that, well, we said Tammy and Scott, those 12 enrollments, super uh, jam, uh, knocking out everything with January Jolt. I don't even know how much money you guys have made in the PIBs, so just killing it. Megan, um, girl, four enrollments. I know you went to, um, you know, launch party. Uh, Chris down there doing that launch party. Rachel hosting it. So awesome. I think you got like $300 in PIBs that I saw. Kristen, um, you did the $200 um, for the January Jolt. Uh, girl, just getting started, having a great product experience, your PIBs. Um, Carrie, you did double PIBs. That's awesome. And my, um, Michael Cole, you did your five cycle bonus, 500 PIBs, um, did the $200 in the January jolt. So Michael and Denise and uh, LaDonna and Randall. I, you know, I was talking to LaDonna and she was like, I paid my mortgage with Isogenics again product is paid for you guys and mortgage paid for like what that is so exciting you think about that like what would it be like to have your mortgage paid for like what if we could just help people get their mortgage paid for i mean that alone is a miracle right like that oh that's just some oh so i'm just super excited you guys are all rocking anybody want to celebrate any anyone those are some things that i had can we see that baby? Okay, we are going to spotlight this angel. And we are going to unmute. Let's see, how do I unmute? Oh, I can't unmute. Hold on. 
All right, hold on. Let me let me see this situation here. Cause yeah, that's what it's all for, right? Is moments like this. All right, I'm gonna unmute you. All right, Glenn, you there? Yep, I am. I Sorry, am. she fell asleep, asleep on the Zoom, Casey. <laughs> That's okay. Some of every some other people on here might have wanted to fall asleep too. Look at that. Oh, you guys. Do you guys want to say anything? No, I don't know. <laughs> she's a, she's a, she's a week old today, you know, and she um, you know, I was kind of unsure before she was born how I was going to handle everything and she came and she just solidified our why that's it she just it just like shot even further so we're 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 just really happy and super excited and you know just really excited to see what this year brings and yeah so it's good it's all good well we love you guys massive congrats she's beautiful seeing those Thank pictures you boys holding her i'm just like oh the big brothers with their little sister um, <laughs> oh so great you guys people you know Melina, didn't you just start because you wanted to get some baby weight off of yeah for merit yeah. from merit yeah right. now i gotta get this baby weight off but yeah that's completely different life is yeah. you know and it's crazy because you know, Casey, when we first, you know, started doing this, we, you told me all about these vision board things and, you know, we were like, oh, okay. And we were both looking at our vision board the other day and the house that we are building is literally the house in the picture. It's just gray, not brown. And it's just, it's insane how it's you, if you put it up and you declare that it's happening, it happens. So it's mm. crazy. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. We wouldn't be doing it without isogenic sites for sure. Mm, so. I love it. Yeah. Well, you know, I just, I just call that natural. It's not even crazy because they were clear on a vision. They got to work, right? Um, so, oh, you guys, this is the gift that we have for people. We get to give people choice, give people choice and families and um, togetherness and all of that. So isogenics, you know, let it, let it be everything that it can be for you and what it is that you want for you and your family and your goals. Um, and just really the steps here, the think and grow rich. It's good stuff. So if nobody has anybody that they want to give a shout out to, there's so many, those were just a, a couple. Um, everybody just keep rocking. If you're on this call, absolutely rocked it out and uh go for those promotions guys there is a lot of promotions there is a lot of money up for grabs take advantage of it it doesn't matter if people tell you no they might come back in three two years one year just like we saw yeah. all of those people, right? Chris started said no and then she comes back you just don't know go do the do, have the belief, cast it for people, and when they're ready, you'll still be here to get them rocking and rolling. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do our part. All right, see you guys in the group and we'll get all this information up. Don't forget, do your HIA My Story in the group and to be ready to invite people to that on Thursday night and Donovan's call tomorrow at 8.30, um, 8, 8, 8, 8. <laughs> Can't jump, all right. Bye guys. Yeah. Bye guys. Yeah. Yes.